In this video I'm going to take a look at the essential difference between EZ and cis-trans isomerism. So I'll start by explaining when EZ is possible and how you label the isomers and then I'll move on to when you can use the cis-trans terminology. So the first thing we'll look at is EZ. So EZ isomerism is a form of stereoisomerism and the definition for stereoisomerism is when you have molecules that have got the same structural formula but a different spatial arrangement of atoms or groups. So that occurs when you've got a carbon-carbon double bond and you have these different atoms or groups of atoms attached to each carbon of the double bond. So I'm going to put an X there, a Y there, a Z there, and a W there, okay? So that's different to that, and that's different to that, okay? So this generic molecule here can show EZ isomerism. Now it's probably worth saying at this point that if, let's say that Y there had been an X, so I'll just quickly change that. So because that's the same as that, this wouldn't be able to show EZ isomerism because you haven't got different atoms or groups of atoms on each carbon of the double bond, because they're the same. So I'll use this specific example to actually illustrate what I'm talking about there. So you can see that I've replaced X with a methyl group, Y is a chlorine atom, Z is an OH group, and W is a fluorine atom. So each carbon of the CC double bond has got a different atom or group attached. That's different to that, that's different to that. Okay, so what does the other isomer look like? So what's the same structural formula but a different spatial arrangement of the atoms? Well, the way we do that is we just switch um, one side over. So because I've done that with the pointer, we'll put the OH down there and the F up there. Okay, so that generates that molecule there. So you can see that because the double bond can't rotate, let's just focus on, let's focus on the CH3 group, okay? So on the same side of the double bond, you've got that OH group, it's locked up there, whereas on this one, locked up there is the fluorine. So these are actually different um, spatial arrangements. The structural formula is the same because the structural formula of this would be CH3, CCl, COHF, and this would be CH3, CCl, COHF, but it's the spatial arrangement that's different. Okay, so how do you work out which one's which? Well, we employ the SIP rules, the Kahn Ingold Prelog Priority Rules, and we establish priority by looking at the atomic number of the atom that's directly attached to the carbons of the double bond. So on the left-hand carbon, chlorine's got a higher atomic number than carbon, so it takes priority. And on the right-hand carbon, the fluorine has a higher atomic number than oxygen, so that's got priority on that carbon. So if I just highlight these, the priority doesn't change in the different form, okay, but you can see that they have different spatial arrangements. The priority groups are both locked down on this side of the double bond, on this one, and whereas on this isomer on the right, the priority groups are locked, one's down, one's up. So which one's which? Well, when the priority groups are on the same side of the CC double bond, you get the Z isomer from the German word zusammen, which means together. Whereas when the priority groups are on opposite sides of the double bond, so that one's down, that one's up, this is called the E isomer from the German word for opposite, entgegen. Okay, so if we move on to, well, what's the difference between that and cis-trans? Well, cis-trans is a special case of EZ isomerism, where you've got the same atom or group of atoms attached to each carbon of the CC double bond. So essentially, we're looking at a molecule that resembles something like this. Remember, for EZ to be possible, it's, it's a special type of EZ, so that's got to be different to that, that's got to be different to that. But in cis-trans, you'll notice that we've got Y on the left-hand carbon and on the right-hand carbon. So what we're doing in cis-trans is we're comparing the relative positions of the identical group across the double bond. 
So in terms of a specific example, we could have something like this. So you can see that my Y, my identical group in this case, is a CH3 group. So the two spatial arrangements they could have are both on the same side of the CC double bond, so both pointing up or diagonally opposite. So we don't, we're not interested in priority now, we're just comparing the relative positions of the two identical groups or atoms. So when the identical groups are on the same side of the double bond, like you've got in the left-hand one, that's the cis isomer. And when they're on diagonally opposite sides, that's the trans isomer. So just to finish off, both of these molecules can show EZ because that's different to that, and that's different to that, that's different to that, that's different to that. But only this one can show cis trans because on each carbon of the CC double bond, you've got an identical atom or group.